Hi, my name is Jazz Kimatharu, also known as Jazz, and I am a final year student studying speech and language therapy at City University of London. And in this video, I shall be going through my overall experience at City and what it's been like this far. So I study a Bachelor's Honours of Science in Speech and Language Therapy and this is a three-year full-time course. So over the three years it's broken down in a very structured way which if you have no background of speech and language therapy it is a brilliant course to get into as it builds those foundation that foundation that you need into increasing your knowledge in all areas of speech language therapy and what i like about this course is that you actually attend placement in your first year now i know that might sound daunting at first however it's a great way of building your practical and your clinical experience of speech language therapy myself my learning style is very much hands-on so when I was studying and you know you're learning everything from the lectures you're able to apply that theory into your practical and picking out you know the things that you need to work on and what you are good at so having that itself is a great way of learning in year one you are taught what speech and language therapy is so it's broken down into adults and children and again they lay out the foundation of what speech and language therapy is so you look at all the different types of communication difficulties language difficulties speech difficulties in adults and children and now along with this you do a one day a week placement for 10 weeks in adult and a child setting now i know this sounds very daunting however when you're doing this you're just observing for the first year as obviously you do not know a lot about speech language therapy and it's another experience in itself as it's a great way of meeting professions different professionals settings and how versatile speech and language therapy is and how you can have that in many different settings itself now once you do this um, you do attend a block placement in the summer and now with this you can either work with children or adult and you get to choose and hopefully the university can offer what you have chosen it's a great experience into having everything that you learned in your first year and putting this into your practical practical experience now with this you get to see a variety of things as you're attending placement every day and building upon those skills that you really want to build upon or yet again just learn in itself and I think it's a fantastic way of building your clinical knowledge and what else you need to maybe go and research on or not necessarily you know speaking to those professionals itself and getting that first-hand experience that not necessarily other people can get in their first year. And then in your second year, it's the same structure. You're building upon adults and children and learning even more theory. So it's going into more detail in year two. It's starting to entwine everything that you've learned in year one and it's starting to make even more sense and it's going into more detail. Now, with this, you do attend a one day a week placement for 21 weeks. And I know this sounds a lot, however, it's just for one day that you're attending this and again you're supported through this transition so you do attend a clinical tutorial and a PPDG along with this. Now this helps you to support your clinical experience because it might not necessarily be an experience that you're enjoy enjoying or you're finding difficult and that's when you can speak to your peers on your course and you can gain that advice and hopefully speak to the lecturers where they can give you that advice. I'm not saying it's going to be a diff difficult experience, you're going to obviously have an amazing experience in itself but you're going to, go you're going to have your good days and your bad days which is normal and then and at the end of year two you do attend a block placement and this block placement is a way of actually practicing those interventions those assessments working with patients one-to-one -one, and again grabbing those experiences that you couldn't you know experience before and again it's a great way of building upon your clinical experience and again 
using that theory that you have used and practicing it and speaking with those different professionals in a hospital or school in the community and again it's a wonderful experience again you learn everything in year three and again it's more independent due to becoming you know in your last year and again becoming that speech and language therapist it does sound daunting but again you are supported in this transition which is fantastic so you have your clinical tutorial groups and your ppdgs again on top of this you are in your research project so you are doing your dissertation on top of everything third year it is intense and when everyone speaks about it, it does feel intense however I can't tell you how much of the support that has been in place, especially during the pandemic as well. It is harder. Learning online isn't necessarily easy for anyone. With this, you're doing a one day of placement for 21 weeks. And again, this is fantastic because then you get to have your own mini caseload. And working with these people individually is amazing. And you get to again, work on your clinical experience and what you need to work on or what you can do, what you can't do. And again, working with the different professionals. And again, in the summer, you attend a bigger block placement this time. And this is where you can be independent as a speech and language therapist and taste what it's like to be in the real world. And again, this is going to be fantastic. I haven't had the chance to do this yet as I haven't got to this stage, but um, I am looking forward to it. The reason why I chose to study at City, I think the main thing that drew me to this course was the practical side of it and how you are able to learn but also practice at the same time. Not every university gets a chance to do this and that is what speech and language therapy is. It's you are practic practicing, you are a practitioner and to be able to practice this and gain that experience in first year and building upon that knowledge that you have is fantastic and that is the reason why i chose the city in my first year of uni i moved out into university accommodation and i moved into an accommodation called liberty halls and this was fantastic as it was a five minute walk into northampton square and it was a 10 minute walk into angel and with this, it was a great opportunity into learning the environment and getting used to the area itself. And even though it can be quite daunting into moving away from home for the first time, or if not being there, it's a great way of meeting new people, making new friends and meeting people from all walks of life. It's a great opportunity into meeting people from different courses and not necessarily the one that you study and experiencing the London life itself and also increasing your independence even though cooking and cleaning and the laundry wasn't my forte. In my second and third year of university I moved into an accommodation which is linked with the university called Alliance House and it was very easy to apply for via online and again this was a 20 minute bus journey into uni as well as Angel so you didn't have to think about the traveling all the time as it was just a 20 minute bus journey. Again, this was a great opportunity into meeting more people and from all walks of life and again, increasing your independence and becoming more aware of London itself and getting used to the area. So living in London um, was a great opportunity in itself as I do not live in London myself and experiencing, you know, the food, the shopping, the culture, the history and traveling around like the festivals, things like that itself is fantastic. And not just that, meeting people from all walks of life was so interesting and amazing because it's an experience that you can only experience when you go and live there or actually attend to itself. So it's another fantastic experience in itself. So living in London, it can be quite expensive um, as it is the city. However, there is support from the university, which I got myself. So I get student finance, I apply for hardship funds, scholarships, um, bursaries for traveling. There are many things that are available at the university and there is people there at the university that can help you with this if you are struggling. As well as this, I also have applied to uni temps which send out permanent, temporary, full-time jobs via the uni which can fit around your schedule. 
Outside of my studies, I work as a student ambassador and again, it's another great way of meeting new people. It's a great opportunity into building more skills such as customer service, engaging, initiating and also attending events such as open days, open evenings, um, events around London itself and on top of that you're getting paid for doing this too which is another source of income if you are needing a job that can fit around your studies. Now with the careers in employability again as you are studying and obviously attending a clinical placement it's a fantastic way of seeing what speech and language therapy is and what different settings it applies to as well as this there's a career service at uni which you can you can get your cv checked you can have your mock interviews as many times as you want there's many lectures that cover the employability and the careers of speech and language therapy itself which is fantastic and again they support you in this transition itself So at uni as well, there is a student support service, which is fantastic. So they cover neurodiversity for specific learning needs, mental health, counselling, everything is available at the university. And this team is fantastic. As they get back to you ASAP, they're very efficient and they are such a lovely team. So I'm coming to an end to my degree and I must say that these three years have flown by and what I can say is that I am also, you know, looking forward to finding a job and actually experiencing to be a speech and language therapist. Um, I have grown as a person, especially with this course as well, you learn so many things, not just a, the theory side or the practical side of this, emotionally as well, you get to build on those skills. And I hope this video was helpful and I wish you all the best in all the decisions you make.